So, so today is the first. Uh, today we have already started the second semester, and it's a, a weekday. But we're very pleased to have a large audience, and uh, we were able to have a very significant international workshop and program. And uh, so. We're very grateful to Dr. Mazur, more than anything, for traveling long distance to give us a very valuable talk and interesting uh, ideas and talk. And I actually, about 40 years ago, was a student of physics. And I'm graduating from University of Tokyo. And when I was, uh, if I had a professor like you, Dr. Mazur, I don't think I would be here. And well, meaning there is the irony of fate. We don't know how things would go. And I think that I was fortunate not to have met, uh, uh, have a professor like uh, Dr. Uh, Mazur. And uh, well, it's the irony of uh, fate. We don't know thing. good things could happen to bad, and uh, bad things could turn to good. And so we don't know how things would go. And so this irony of fate is the phrase that was used by Professor Yamanaka, who became the Nobel laureate of medicine. And he is, uh, the, so I'm a member of uh, Kyoto University, so he's a colleague. Dr. Yamanaka is a colleague, and we're pleased that he be, won the Nobel Prize in medicine. But in any case, uh, listening to today's session, what I felt is that, well, it's the mistake of the humans or humanity that we don't have a Nobel Prize for pedagogy. And I, if there was such a Nobel Prize, we could have introduced Dr. Mazur as being the Nobel laureate of education. But in any case, um, our staff uh, is uh, starting from the uh, challenge of Dr. Mizokami and PI is uh, really just looking at how to construct the question is a very challenging task. And so Dr. Mizokami is brave enough to make a challenge. So our, we are proud to have such younger staff. And we have the logical or background by Dr. Professor Matsushita and to the create, share, use cycle. This cycle is being uh, proposed by uh, Professor Iyoshi. So our, we have a, a very nice combination. So the next uh, laureate of the Nobel Prize for Education would be uh, the member faculty of our center is what I will be convinced after Dr. Mazur. So, uh, well, my, uh, 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 so, so there was uh, the Time magazine that showed that the money would be an incentive for a child to learn. But anyway, aside from that money part, Dr. Yamanaka, the Nobel laureate of medicine, said he really appreciates other people for making this uh, Nobel Prize uh, possible. And we have a faculty development networking uh, association. and. We have the Kansai Faculty Development Association that we send invitations. So the members audience here is uh, participating from uh, different parts of Japan. And so we would we need to be developing these new methods like the peer instruction. And so uh, as a core of the network, we would also like to do our best. And we do. We think uh, we felt the energy. and. We feel the encouragement we could uh, be continued to serve as the core of such activity. And finally, so I'd like to thank Keypad Japan, uh, who has provided the clickers. And also, uh, the clickers were made available at a low price by Uchida Yoko Company, making it available for uh, Dr. Mizokami's class. Thank you for those supporting organizations. and. Also, I'm always impressed uh, by the, uh, well, interpreter. They're really uh, doing a stressful job, so thank you to them. So I, myself, uh, really have this positive impression about this uh, program and that, that I owe a lot to the cooperation of all the uh, relevant members here. And finally, I'd like to, we'd like to give another big round of applause to our uh, the members up on the stage for their kind contribution. Thank you.